ready. And remember, we're breaking this up into four parts. Remember to get the full press conferences. Go over to Stando and SBplay.weebly.com. Nintendo's up. Nintendo. Nintendo probably won E3. Really? So it wasn't a depressing... No, visual a bit. Uh, they started off with this uh, kind of robot chicken style claymation, making fun of themselves, just making fun of their characters. Right. Reggie comes out, he gets firepower, and somebody says, yeah, we're right, it's probably going to be another Mario game. What about Star Fox? And he just starts shooting fireballs at the guy and sets the guy on fire. It's pretty <laughs> hilarious. Nice. Uh, and then we see a live-action fight between Reggie and uh, Iwata, and they're like, doing this like super matrix style fight scene yeah. and it was to promote Smash Brothers. Nice. <laughs> and what's uh, cool about the why they showed Reggie in a lot of fighting of course is because you can put your own me in Smash Brothers. That is awesome. So your own me character, me fighters, and uh, you have three different classes. One's a shooter, one's a brawler, one's a sword guy, whatever. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And then they showed uh, Amiibos which are kind of like the Skylander little figurines. Right. They're not required. You don't have to have them to play these games. But what you can do is, even for Mario Kart 8, which just, or is it 8? So. Mario Kart 8 that just came out. The new Smash Brothers coming out. Pokemons and different things. You can take these characters and actually save your progress to the characters. Huh. And level them up, so to speak. So, like... If you really like the Mario character in Smash Brothers, you can just keep upgrading that Mario character. Right. And, and of course, it'll keep several skills throughout different plethora of games. Huh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty cool. <laughs> so, yeah, these are amiibos. They're a little bitty tiny huh. figurines. Uh, of course, when they did the treehouse thing after right. the digital event, it was kind of boring. But for the most part, <laughs> in here, I, I got the gist in it. Right. They didn't right. stay too long. They said... We'll play it later on the floor and during the Treehouse event, which was way boring. So, <laughs> just know that you can up level your characters. Now, what I'm concerned about uh, with Amiibo is the rarity of some of these characters and how much you're going to pay for them. Right. Because they can get quite expensive if they become a rarity. Let's say uh, Donkey Kong Jr. becomes a rarity collectible item. And you're going to be working out thousands 200 of bucks, <laughs> Thousands of bucks, yeah. Oh, yeah. That... that that's where I worry. Right. So hopefully it don't get that way. Yeah. Then they showed Yoshi's Woolly World, which is kind of a uh, a sequel to Kirby's Yarn, I guess. Right. But it's not Kirby; it's Yoshi, <laughs> and he's made of yarn. And apparently, if you have two Yoshis, one Yoshi can eat the other one and poop them out to unreachable areas, and everything's made of yarn. <laughs> And it's not a timed Mario game, it's it's a exploration style. It's a right. little bit easier than like a Mario World. Right, right. But it's done that way on purpose so that you can find every single little coin, right. get every single little thing. Find every little pretty cool. single secret. Pretty, pretty cool. cool. Um, remember, did you play a Super Mario Galaxy? Uh, maybe. 3D possibly. World? Anyway, Toad in these has little mini games where Toad, you know, wearing the little yeah. miner's hat, he goes through these like little puzzles to right. get to the top or whatever. Right. And uh, he's get Toad's getting his own little game that are a series of these little mini games. So, huh. it, and it's called Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. <laughs> so, pretty cool. Then. The Legend of Zelda, and they talked more about Legend of Zelda than what they showed, but what they showed was freaking awesome. Right. Because they talked about Zelda being an open world, you know, the first time, you know, you played Zelda 1, it was, you can go left, you can go right, you can go north, you can go south, wherever you wanted. Right. The world, the world was pretty, well, they wanted to go back to that route and get away from the linearity. Right. What they were saying is, in the original Zelda, you can go to Dungeon 3 before you ever found Dungeon 1. If, right. If it had to be that way. This looks like a, a Skyrim world. Pretty plethora, <laughs> right. colorful. And then, all of a sudden, you see this monster come up through Hyrule Field, you would exhume. 
right. assume that's what it was. And the the creator of the game was talking about, see those mountains way back there? Way, way back there? You can go there if you want to. And it was amazing. <laughs> I was blown away. Awesome. You know what I mean? And then you see the monster come up and he attacks what we think is Link on a horse. It could be Zelda. Because right. it's got a different look to the character is why I say that. Right. And he's riding a horse, comes around the bend. Monster's still following him. Jumps off his horse. Probably not in the player's perspective, but in a cinematic perspective. Right. And shoots, uh, pulls the bow and arrow. The arrow opens up into like this tech-looking thing, this <laughs> steampunk-style arrow, and gets ready for the draw. And then the trailer goes off. But it looked amazing. Huh. I'm excited. It's an actual Legend of Zelda for the Wii U that right. we know is being worked on, and that is exciting. Awesome. And I heard that next later this year it's going to be the year of the Zelda so that game might be hmm. the year of Zelda it might be it might be sooner than we think it is nice then they showed Pokemon more and more Pokemon why not because Pokemon successful right yeah. and they showed I think it was uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire hmm. I still like the original better <laughs> <laughs> and then we see Bayonetta 2 uh, of course, Bayonetta 2 looked uh, pretty impressive last year at E3, but we find out that Bayonetta 1 and 2 are going to be... So if you buy Bayonetta 2, you automatically get Bayonetta 1. Nice. And then in their own Nintendo way, they show Bayonetta wearing different Nintendo outfits, like Samus or Peach's outfit or Link's outfit. Nice. So. Nice. And then Hyrule Warriors... Which is Dynasty Warriors, pretty much, with a Zelda take. Hmm. So, you can play as Link, Zelda, Ganondorf. I, I would. I, they didn't say Ganondorf, I'm sorry. Link, uh, Zelda herself, Impa, or the little girl thing from uh, Shadow Princess. I can't remember his name. But, yeah, That's excited. Cool. It's pretty cool. It's a hack and slash. I, I wasn't into Dynasty Warriors, but, hey, whatever. Right, yeah. You never know. Kirby Rainbow Curse. Kirby Rainbow Curse. Yeah, apparently this is going to be using the touchpad in a very specific way hmm. where uh, you touch to drag the these little lines and it makes a rainbow line that Kirby can use as a platforming device. Huh. Which is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And then they showed a Xenoblade Chronicles X, or 10. Uh, it's anime, Gundam style, right. space, opera top stuff. Huh. Looks pretty exciting. Uh, probably an RPG. And then they showed Mario Maker. Make your own Mario game. <laughs> Awesome. Using the original graphics or some of the new graphics. That's yeah, awesome. Showed that. Huh. So you can make those asshole levels that everybody's found on the internet. <laughs> 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 and then they showed uh, Splatoon. And Splatoon was pretty crazy. Um, what it is, it's a shooter game. For right. Four versus four. And it's who gets the most ink. Right. In, in in the playing field, okay? So you're squirting out these paint ink spots, right? right. And you're trying to cover... The, so the, I, I guess the first thing you do is establish the base and cover it with your own right. ink whenever you spawn in, right? Now, if you get hit with somebody else's ink, it slows you down. Huh. Or if you're walking through somebody else's ink, it slows you down. But if you're in your own ink, you can actually speed up to get to other places on the map very quickly because you turn into a squid and you go swimming and jumping and diving. And it looked pretty nice. crazy and nice. pretty nice. Like pretty, pretty, pretty cool. I like it. And uh, so yeah, Splatoon. Uh, another game that was confirmed at E3, but I didn't know what it was the first time I saw it. And it was shown in the digital event and I didn't know what it was because Miyamoto was sitting in front of it. A, a desk and he's like, mm -hmm. I'm currently working on other games, blah, right. blah, blah. But in the meantime, check out what else we're... Well, before he makes that announcement, he's playing this game and he's got the Wii U up. And he, you know, you see something on the TV right. and you can't really make it out. And it's Star Fox. 
So Star Fox is coming back to the Wii U. Nice. So nice. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So yeah. Awesome. That was Nintendo. That, that's amazing. Nintendo right. probably had uh, the least amount of na- announcements. But definitely made a big comeback on... Major well, impact, though. Oh, yeah. So Well, so did Microsoft, though. You know, the trouble that Microsoft has been having, you know, they... Actually, all the press conferences were really good, except uh, EA, which... They've got some impressive stuff coming out, that's for sure. But I didn't really care for the dev diary. Right. Style thing, which, you know... Um, Ubisoft was kind of short. They had a couple of shape up. I, I don't care about, you know. Right. Man. Um, that went. The shape up went on a little long. Sony, the TV stuff just went a little too long. Other yeah. than that, Sony did very good. Uh, all in all, though, I think Nintendo took the. Took it. In my opinion, Nintendo did awesome. You know. Right. So. Right. Oh yeah, and I mean it's a major improvement of what's been going on. From all the consoles, I mean, especially for Microsoft and Nintendo, you know, having to do, change certain things mid-production and changing this and changing that and hearing that now and going over all that stuff that we just went over, it's just like, that's a major turnaround, I mean. But that's E3, everybody. Of course, there was some other stuff shown on the floor. Anyway, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, we'll catch you on the flip side.